<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Rotorite. Today we're taking a look. <laughs> hey guys, we are taking a look at an all new, full, ready to fly FPV drone from DJI, the Avada. Dude, that was good. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> this is the full Pro View combo. There's a couple things in this box. Are there different versions you can buy of it? Or? There's going to be this Pro View combo, which has the drone a goggle and a controller. Okay. And you can also buy the drone separately. And then there's also going to be another combo where the drone is packaged with the older DJI goggles, the ones that we've been flying with for years now. So oh, it, nice. it is okay. compatible with those goggles. Let's get this box open. When you buy just the drone, this is, a this is what you get. But if you get the ProView combo, then you also get oh. goggles and the controller. That controller is interesting. What do you think of that controller? Ah, uh, I, um. This is called the motion controller. And this is a controller that you hold with one hand and it's kind of like a fighter pilot control. Yeah. And you actually control the drone by tilting. It has a gyro in there. Yeah. When we fly our drones, our pro grade FPV drones, we are flying with a more classic RC style controller that has two sticks. Yeah. And you are actually directly controlling throttle, yaw, pitch and roll versus something like this, which does some of the controlling for like you. Mixing and, the, yeah, we'll see when we get into it because yeah. we are going to fly it like this. I'm curious to see how precise I can be using that controller. Right. All right. So oh. now, why is it going up? What the heck? Oh, there's a dot. Wait, what? Yeah. So that dot. So basically, just point that dot where you want to go. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Do you actually like? I love this. It. It's an ultra wide too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So basically what you do is as you tilt that thing, you see a dot on the screen. So you guys are going to see what we're, oh my God, he's close to that. And as you move it, it moves the dot. And it basically, when you pull the trigger, it shoots towards the dot. Oh man, you're getting, okay, hold up, man. We don't, let's do that stop so fast. It does stop. Oh and my the, God. the trigger is interesting because they say it's an acceleration trigger, but it's kind of not, it's more of a speed. So like if you let go of the trigger, you stop. And if you hold it at mid, you go like half fast. And if you hold it full, you go full fast. Does that make sense? Yeah. So right now it's not letting me go left, which is weird. You gotta like you bring it back to center. So it's more like this. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once I get going, I get the hang of it. Yeah, it seemed that's funny that when you were able to fly it like intuitively, but then you tried to think about it and do it stationary and it didn't work. So I'm just stop it for a second. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and change the flight mode on you. Okay. Let's turn on head tracking. head tracking. Click. Okay. Now, now you can see it with your face if you want. So how do I? What do I do with this then? Same this, thing. This also you can, controls. You it. can use it either. Tilt your head. Like look to your left. Oh. Look at that. Oh, I see. Here we go. I'm ready. Oh, but it doesn't move the arrow. Oh, hold up, bro. Oh, oh, we can do side shots. Oh, so that's how you would do a side shot. Yeah. That's weird. Watch out what you're gonna fly into though. Oh. Yeah, I, I can. I was able. That's. To. So this is center. I gotta get used to that more. So that's weird. So I guess you can. And you see those bars? Ah, that's so. kind of indicating you're forward. Do you see those two bars? Yeah. So, whoa. Cause like the camera's obviously not tilting, so it's a drone. So like if I'm going like this, I'm turning my head. Now the drone is actually going sideways. But when I push forward, it goes like, you know, forward in the direction that I was going. You know? Hey, Sean. Drive my truck around slowly. This makes me warm up to the motion controller a lot. So on the pre-production firmwares I've been flying, I was never able to get the head tracking to work. So for me, the motion controller was really, really fun, but you can only chase something head on. And you can never strafe something or look at it or orbit it. But now with this head tracking capability, shoot, man. Like this is cool because like just, just point the Oh, that's so weird! Oh, whoa, oh whoa. nice save, Bobby. That's cool. Bobby, you're nailing it. Oh, but you freaked out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't want to hit the tree. I haven't even flown it yet, just from watching Bobby. Okay. But you can hit something. Oh, this is going You see how you can orbit yeah. now. You basically okay. put the dot on the side of the screen. This is weird. But, dude, you locked into that orbit first trip. Here, orbit me. Orbit okay. me. Oh, he's doing it. Dude, he's locked. Yeah. I'm like leaning. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Sorry. I, I was getting dizzy. I was getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so quite different from the original DJI FPV drone. This is not like a full five inch racing or freestyle drone. Yeah. This is more a Cinewhoop class drone. So what we have here 
is one of our Skylight drones. This yeah. is what we build and sell at Rotoriot. This is the type of drone that you're gonna use when you wanna fly indoors or around people. These, yeah. these ducks make it very safe to fly around things. Like if I bump into Bubby, it's, I mean, it's still not a great thing. You should but avoid it, but it's not an- cut into Bubby. Yeah, it's not an instant <laughs> hospital visit. It's still capable of carrying a, a full recording camera, so you can put a GoPro on there and get some really amazing shots. This is one of the most popular FPV platforms when you're doing cinema work. Yeah. And DJI is definitely going after that with this. So it looks like we only have this one camera right here, and this also doubles as our action camera, correct? Yeah, so you notice okay. there's no mounting provisions yeah. to put an action camera, so when we build our ducted drones, we put some sort of thing here so that we can put a GoPro or a DJI action camera or something like that for recording, yeah. because the FPV camera uh, is not really the, the level of quality that we need for recorded image. DJI's hope is that the same camera that you use to pilot is going to be a recorded view. So, I mean, it's on a gimbal and everything. That is really cool. It'd be really cool to see what type of shots people can get with a gimbal on an FPV-style drone. So it is only a one-axis gimbal up and down, okay. but there is built-in stabilization, so nice. you can get a little bit of that rock study, and you can use this with gyro flow. So, I mean, for size comparison, it's very similar. It's actually smaller. We build ours so that the props are far enough apart left and right to have all the components of the drone in the center. Yeah. DJI really stacked it. Like the props are a true X rather than being a wide X. The props come together and all the components of the drone are kind of contained in this diamond section or on top of it. And while we're looking at the bottom, look at all, look at all, all this the stuff. sensors. So basically it's like an FPV drone, but like it'll have a lot of the stabilization features that normal like Mavic stuff has. Maybe. Oh yeah. So yeah. this has GPS. It's oh, got nice. the downward facing sensors. So whether you're indoor or outdoors, this thing is incredibly stable and locked in. We are here at Putting Edge in Desertland, Florida, and we are going to fly this thing in a little bit of a more tighter environment. So as you can see, this is a mini golf course and there's a lot of really cool visuals. And since this drone is so small and has prop guard, these types of shots we're getting is kind of what this drone was built for. Small, flies around people, flies indoors. So let's go ahead and put that to the test. The UV really shows up well. Wow. Go through whoa, that. Whoa, why is it moving still? I'm not moving that. What's what happening? The heck? Okay, you good? Okay. Yeah, I felt like it was. Oh, you hit that wall. that wall. I think. I don't think I did. Here we go. So oh, you lost your vision control for a minute. Interesting. It's so dark. It lost the well, downward facing. That's what it is. Yeah. Interesting. So you were just moving around. You weren't stabilized anymore. Like you didn't have any position hold. How come it's not going down? Hit the gap. Hit it with confidence. Oh, it's upsetting the. Ah, uh... uh, it's moving around. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> the vision control system's failing in here. It, it's doing, it's pretty bad right now. It's like, cause it's the, 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 yeah. Yeah, you might have to switch to the real controller. Oh, see, like it's, yeah. it's, it's freaking out. You know what, just bring it back and let's give you the real controller. Yep, that sounds like the best option. So I guess to answer the question, can you control it in slow, tight areas with the motion controller? Yes, yes. but not in low light. Ugh. Yeah. The motion controller just does not seem to perform well in low light, which I guess it makes sense. I'm gonna sense. get it, we are in the dark with we, just black lights. Yeah, like, if, you, if you could understand how dark it actually is. You double, can just push and hold the lock button. So the lock button is a red button right here. Push, yep, and, push hold. and hold it. Just keep holding it. There we go, landed. I'm CJ FPV, S-E-A-J-A-Y-E. -E. DJ is legit a pro Cinewhoop pilot. He does a ton of gigs. He gets absolutely amazing shots. If you're not familiar with this guy, you're missing out. We'll leave a link in the description of his stuff. But what we want to see here is CJ, who has been flying pro built uh, acro mode Cinewhoops for a while. You know, could we just throw the Avada in his hands with no other experience in it and just see, like, could you do your thing? You know, no, no flight assistance mode, no motion control. We're just going to put you in acro mode, just like one of the drones that you would fly on one of your professional gigs and be like, could, could this work for you?
So I think you're like the first pincher that I've seen fly this radio. What are you thinking about? What are you thinking of it so far? Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. It's. I think it might be because of the uh, small gimbals. I don't know. It feels really small in my hands. You could get used to it if you knew if you had to, but I. I I'm not a big fan. Besides the radio, you know, you fly a lot of cine loops. How did you feel the actual drone flew? Like, you know, prop and you know, stuff like that. How did you the think it actual flew? drone itself, super stable. I mean, it felt just as good as a regular cine whoop would. And the battery time, you got, how long is the battery time on this? Yeah. Stupid long. <laughs> and we still got, we still got 77%. Yeah. Like from a, a, a business standpoint, I will absolutely be investing in one of these for the battery time, the quality of it. This Goggles are oh, so gorgeous, yeah, dude, I'm ruined. I don't feel like I've got something big on my face at all. It feels really nice, yet I still feel like I've got that movie theater yeah. screen on me. Like, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, they've done a really good job with the optics, like getting the screen really big, even yeah. though, you know, small yeah, yeah. goggle form factor. All right, so let's set the drone aside. Let's get into I'm the I'm excited for the here. goggles. These are... Oh, yeah. yeah. I think everyone who's in the FPV scene is really curious about the new... DJI goggles, and yeah. this is the first time that we're really gonna get to see them. The, the day that this video is published, the only thing that the new DJI goggles work with is the Avada drone. You get ready for some. For and some. hold on, I have a I have a prepared <laughs> statement. <laughs> the FPV community is gonna go crazy, dude. Because the FPV community is really gonna wanna yeah. use these goggles with like an air unit or their custom built drones. Is that possible? What can we say? <clears throat> Currently, DJI Goggles 2, these things, are not compatible with the DJI HD FPV air unit or the Cadex air unit. DJI will evaluate customer reaction and market demand and decide how to expand compatibility. Look how small these are. They are small. If you guys have been flying the DJI FPV system in any capacity, the goggles that we have been using, both the V1 and the V2, were large. You haven't gotten to fly these yet, I so what's your initial it. reaction? Ooh, did it come with? Oh, ooh! That is nice. I didn't get yeah. that and on my prototypes. I didn't get this. Look, it came with a like a lens protector that snaps on. How cool is that? Is that is nice. I mean, these look pretty awesome. No removable antennas? Or do they? Boop! Okay, but this so this isn't our normal like SMA connector. So right, so the and the the top antennas on the goggles are removable, mm -hmm. and there's an MMCX connector in there with like mm -hmm. a clip system. So it will be possible to get aftermarket antennas onto the goggle if you want to. But you know, I think it's going to take some companies developing ones that are compatible with this. It's just nice that it is possible. There are also two more antennas that are built into the shell itself. That are not removable. Are those patches or do yeah, they're, they're directional you antennas? You know, honestly, DJI's done a good job at making antennas. They're so good at yeah, antennas. I don't think we really the need to. The only reason I've ever changed the antennas on any of my DJI gear before, not actually to improve the performance, but just to get them smaller. Yeah. DJI antennas usually like stick out further, so I couldn't put them in my bag. So I changed to a smaller, low profile antenna. What they did that's really cool with this is they're foldable, right? Yeah, so, so you can just chuck this in your bag. Get the good performance, and then when you wanna pack it up, boom. That's so nice. That saves so much setup time. <laughs> they are high definition OLED displays. Okay. I know the field of view is pretty impressive. It's like 51 degrees. Wow, that's impressive is, for a style of goggle like this. Yeah, to control it, mm -hmm. you have a touchpad. So there's no buttons on this whole goggle. I think it's like really bougie and fancy. So I don't know cool. How, I don't know how practical it is. So, yeah. Like, uh, I would say in my experience with using some prototype versions of these goggles, the touchpad is like, it's a really cool idea. Yeah. But in practice, it's a little, I don't know, it's finicky sometimes. Sometimes a good old joystick button, even though it feels a little dated, it's still a little more reliable. Yeah. But maybe we'll just get used to it, right? And then to select them, so we can just like tap it. You have to like tap, and then to go back, it's a two finger tap. It's weird, you get used to it. Okay. As far as ports go, you've got a USB-C port, and then you've got your power port here. It says seven to nine volts, and you'll notice that that is not the same barrel connector as we used on our old goggles. So it comes with something else. It's, an, it's a different size barrel connector, and you can't go higher than nine volts on this. So before, with the original Ooh. DJI goggles, you just had a simple barrel connector to an XT60 and you could plug up to 4S batteries. Yeah. With this, you have to use the DJI battery. You have, okay. That's I mean, interesting. I'm it's sure like someone's gonna come out with other batteries yeah. with the right connector, but as of now, you're gonna have to use the DJI battery. A seven to nine volts, I, I wish it was more than that. You got your SD card slot. You actually have an, a headphone. Oh, do you have audio? So, uh, I haven't 
experienced any audio output on this, but okay. it, I, I wonder if it might be something that would be possible if there's other audio functions. I'm not 100% sure on that one at this yeah. point. We've seen before DJI come out with stuff and then they'll add features later on, so yeah. I'd be interested to see what they might do with the headphone port. Down here we've got our IPD adjustment, so you can move the displays uh, left and right for the spacing between your eyes, as well as twist to focus and then there's like a way to lock it. But that's kind of a quick overview of the goggles. What else do we get? It's like a goggle strap. Nice, we have a, our, okay, so this is a cable to power it. So then it has a USB-C battery bank in there. Here we have the battery to power the goggles. Clip it in, I like the clip. Clip that's is nice. nice. Yeah, so yeah, clip is nice and then. I think the length is fine. I'm not a fan of these for like stuff that's plugged into because there's still tension. It's pull, right? Yeah, but, but I think. But it's not gonna get tangled. It's not gonna get tangled. Um, but I do think it's long enough that I don't really need to stretch it too much. We've done what, three flights? Yeah. And we're already down to 30% on this battery. Mm -hmm. We're down I don't to know if it 30%? Was, yeah. Ooh. I kind of get used to using this with the other DJI goggles and it used to last, it last a full day for, for me. Full day? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Maybe these take more. I wonder if these goggles are a little more power hungry. So you might want to get a couple of these batteries. When you get this controller, to put it in bind mode, you push and hold the power button. And then this is telling you it's in bind mode. Beep. Then you go over to the, the drone. You just push and hold the power button as well. And that gives you the same pattern of lights, and eventually they should make nice. Maybe. We're good. So, what mode is it in? It's in my mode. The normal mode, yeah. So, it's like flying the Mavic, right? Yep, it's exactly like flying a Mavic. Why aren't you screaming for joy like you did the other time? Is this not as fun? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it just feels like I'm flying a Mavic. Yeah, sport mode. So here's sport mode. Okay. What does sport mode do? Just makes it faster. Okay. If you've ever flown a Mavic before, this is what you're familiar with, where you've got altitude, which is up and down on one stick, and, and rotating yaw is left and right on that same stick, and then the other stick is push and hold forward to go forward or back, or strafe left and right. Um, I'm just using pitch and yaw. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to, right? When you're when you're in these auto level modes, you don't need to use roll. Yeah, unless you want to do it. It's not really roll; it's more of like a strafe, right? Yeah, like you can go like this if you wanted to. I mean, if you are doing a really fast turn, you'll want to use it so that you bank the turn. But well, so yup, it does bank already. Oh, it's got see, built in see, banking. I'm, I'm just, I'm just <gasps> Look at that! Yaw. It's I'm got built in banking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm just using yaw to control it right now. That's crazy. Which, because of the mixing, it's easier to control it in normal in this mode with just yaw, as opposed to using roll too. So where's the gimbal? The gimbal's right here. Okay, so now this is really feels like a Mavic where, you know, I'm looking down and it's not doing it. It's just staying down. Right. So now I can, like, I can probably do a reveal shot. And that's with the dial, right? Yeah, I'm using the dial on the left hand side. Where you're looking down, and then tilt it up, and then. Boom. That's cool. Okay, so can we put it in manual mode? Well, we'd want to change the springs. In normal and sport modes, the left stick up and down is altitude. And you raise the stick to increase altitude and lower it to decrease altitude and center it to maintain altitude. Whereas in a manual mode, the left stick is throttle. And what height you're at is dependent on your control as a pilot and how much throttle do you give it and how is that mixed with the angle of the drone that you set. It's a very advanced way to fly, but it's very rewarding and that's the mode that you need if you want to do any freestyle maneuvers and actually get inverted, do some flips, do a power loop, do anything like that. So you need a 1.5 millimeter hex driver. Uh, the kit comes with one because that's the same tool that you need to change the props. And you peel back this grip where there's like a little arrow there. And I forget which one you do. There's F1 and F2. So I've tightened F1. And that got And that made it loose. You don't want it to flop like that, so you need to go to F2. I want it just tight enough so that it doesn't flop. So now it's like a normal radio. Yay! Well, normal for us, weird for Mavic people. So with everything powered up, we're gonna go into the menu. We're gonna go down to settings, and we go to control, remote controller, and then what I need is this custom mode. Right now it says sport mode, which means on this radio, you have normal mode, you have S for sport mode, and then this M, it would still just be sport mode. That's the custom mode. So we're gonna change that to be manual mode. And then it gives me some instructions about what we did for how to change the, um, the springs. And it also gives you a warning saying, you better practice in the sim. So confirm, I know what I'm doing. There's another thing I need to do. I need to go to gain expo and I need to turn off the M mode attitude limit. So with this on, even though it would be in full manual mode, it wouldn't let me bank past a certain point. 
And I don't want that. I want to be able to flip, baby. So let's turn that off. And again, it's like, dude, you better practice in the sim. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, and now I guess we should be good to go. Now you use this thing. You double tap this start stop. Bang, bang. The motors are armed. And we hit okay. Here we go. Woo! It's weird being back on normal controls after this stuff we've been doing. Yeah. But, How are the rates, stock rates? Uh, yeah, similar to like stock beta flight. But okay. let's see, let's do a flip. Woo! Actually, that's a little fast. Wow, DJI, you should turn these down. That's a little aggressive for stock raids, not gonna lie. For having uh, prop guards, it's not too bad. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. I'm doing flight maneuvers that you're just not gonna be able to to do with, uh, with a motion controller or with Mavic modes, you know, like that. That's not gonna happen. I mean, do you wanna do that for Cinewhoop style flying though? That's the real question and like, probably not. Like this style of flying that I'm doing right now, Probably not the right drone for it, but it's fun to be able to do it. So there's that. Can it juicy flick? Like, does it have style? Like, this drone has the snap, but does it have that? Oh, it wasn't too bad. Got it. Prop wash handling was a little rough. It looks smooth on here. Does it? Yeah. Oh, it's a little, hmm. All right, power loop. Like, it looks really smooth. Woo! It's got power. Yeah? It's got power. I didn't feel like it was strong to pull out of that loop at all. That's good to know. Oh! Yeah, what do you think of that? What do you think of that little Maddie out of that? Oh. Yeah. Yo! Oh, the Rubik's, Rubik's Diabata! It sounds like it's just losing control. Like, it just sounds wild in the I air. I know what I'm doing, Sean. It just sounds like it's all over the place. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Yeah. All right, Maddie flip. Oh, 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 I crashed it. I crashed it. Oh wait, hold on. Can we turtle here. mode? Hold on, let's do uh let's go here, settings. Turtle mode. And hold then up. we gotta go to control. And then we gotta hit turtle mode. <laughs> no way. If it does this by itself, that's gonna be sick. Did that it's do, upright. Did that do it by itself? Yeah. Oh that's sick. Boom. Boom. Manual mode. We're up. <laughs> We're chilling, man. We are chilling. Nice. Are you kidding me? Woo! I had too much fun with this. Woo! Uh, it's starting to feel a little weak. What are we at? It still says I got 33%, but that's funny. I can see it, it feels like I got battery sag, just like one of my quads. Like, battery's getting low. That's interesting. I'm having fun again. Do you think that's because the drone is, like, why do you think that? Because like, manual you mode is fun because it's fun to, like, no, for this style of flying, I'd rather be flying one of my Skyliners. Okay, yeah, that's what I was. But, like, it's just, just cool, like, the novelty of doing this. Yeah. Like, I feel like, Flying this drone in this style, I just feel like it's like, I don't know. It's like someone wheeling a Harley Davidson, you know? It's cool, but like, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, is there a tree you think you could trip your spin bubbles? Ooh, ooh, that was snazzy with, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, hit the ground. Nice! Take the win! Oh Take the win! Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's try something a little bit more interesting here. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, I didn't see. Oh my god! All right, it did it. Whoa! Whoa! We're not making this video to here take go. it easy. We gotta send this thing. I don't even know how he knows there's a hole there. Because I flew here yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh you flew here yesterday. Okay. That power loop's pretty good, though. Oh! oh! No! Oh! oh! Woo! Turtle mode, turtle mode, hold up. It's, it's fine, turtle mode. Oh turtle mode. <laughs> that tree jumped up. <laughs> oh, that's what happened. <laughs> that tree jumped right up in front of me. Do your thing, little guy. Hey! <laughs> hey, she's alive! I can't believe this thing is still alive. I know, I sent it. I mean, I sent it to the So moon. far, my durability expectations have been exceeded. All right, let's see how... Nah, maybe I shouldn't let one over the concrete. Let's... There's another one that's over here a little closer. That's, there it is. Oh! Oh, that was not good. That was really hard. That was not good. And we blacked out. Woo. That was the end. <laughs> I killed it. You might have killed it. I'm seeing multiple pieces. Yeah, the batteries. It's just the battery. Is it just the battery injection? No way. No way, it's fine. No way. I mean, it's, 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 it's dinged up for sure. The camera works fine. Camera seems fine. Probably just props, maybe. 
No way. Wow. I'm impressed. How? I'm surprised the plastic hasn't that's, cracked that's yet. That's pretty, pretty strong. Yeah. Like, I feel like the DJI FPV drone arm would have definitely broken on that. Oh, Dude. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> for sure. Oh, yeah. This I just felt like there's so much you could do before you had to crash it that like, great. But yeah. now we actually are crashing it and, and it's, taking it's breaking it. my brain. Like, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I got video. <laughs> what? <laughs> are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> How is this still alive? That's awesome. It's exceeding all my expectations in this. Like, I, the durability is just such a plus. Shoot, man. this is really good. Oh my god, this is so cool. So we've been flying the Avada for the past couple days. We tested it in a bunch of different environments. We know the Goggle DVR, what we see is really good quality, um, but I'm really curious to see what the onboard DVR looks like because that's one of the whole things with this drone is like, right. it's meant to be a cinema loop. It's meant to have a camera on board that is good enough for showing people, you know, commercials or whatever, so. Yeah, I mean, you call it onboard DVR, but by DVR, we mean 4K, yeah. 60 frames a second, <laughs> yeah. ultra stabilized. wide, stabilized. Yeah. Like this, the intent here is that you shouldn't need to carry a separate recording camera, that the yeah. drone could do the job for you. So Yeah, so going slow through these trees um, looks really good. It looks really stable. I mean, like you're seeing the actual motion of the drone. I feel like in the trees. It's the, you see, you I see saw it like jello or? It looked like, like if you really look at the fine details up close, I feel like in the background I see like, like I, shimmers. I, yeah, like, kind of like, like shimmer. over sharpening artifacts. Yeah, but then again, uh -huh. so maybe there's a camera setting where you can turn the sharpness to low. Like with my GoPros, yeah. I know I always have it set to low. Right, um, we didn't play with camera settings. These are out of the box. I think you know yeah. you could probably improve the image a little bit. So like with this type of shot, it's going to be color graded eventually. This is just raw. You this know, is the just raw straight footage. out of the camera. So right? maybe the shadows will bring them down, so you can't really see that. I mean, I think the quality is there. The quality is there, Like, yes. this is an incredibly quality image. Like, it's yeah. very, it's, it's, it's not just 4K, because, I mean, you can make a 4K camera, but does it actually have the bit rate to look nice? This definitely does. It does look, it, it looks away. great, yeah. If you're really interested in knowing, like, how good the image is going to look coming out of the drone, you know, maybe check out another pilot who yeah. puts some more time into getting the camera settings dialed in. You know, yeah. we're really shaking down the feature set and the performance of the drone. I think the image quality is good, and yeah. I think that with some time put into setting it up even more, it could look even better. Yeah. So flying through the mini golf course, we were struggling to be as smooth as we'd like. I think the, the with the motion controller, the sensors were having trouble with the black carpet, and then even when we put it in manual mode. Not the, used to the radio. The rate's a little too high, we're not yeah. used to the radio yet. So we could have been flying smoother, but point is, we didn't fly it as smooth as we'd like, and what I'm seeing here is that rock study helps, but it doesn't take it all out. Like, yeah there's still some of those movements that you're seeing. Now, yeah. you know, when you're doing freestyle or something like that, where you want to show all the movement of the drone, that's good. And I'm glad that rock study doesn't take it all the way out so that you have the option to show all that movement. Yeah. But for a shot like this, in the mini golf course, you don't want that. Yeah. You want it to be as smooth as possible. You but, want uh, that, yeah, you want that real steady look. My understanding is there's going to be a version of gyro flow okay. that's compatible with the video files. So. You're gonna be able to do that. I don't know exactly how that's gonna work. If you'll have to choose to set the drone to, you know, maybe turn off Rocksteady and film in four by three. Like yeah. there'll be a different set of camera settings that you'd want to use. We wanted to show you guys what do you get out of the box directly off the drone. Really? This is just kind of the beginning of what you're gonna be able to do with Avada. Yeah, basically out of the box that you'll get. Yeah. So we got to take a look at DJI's new drone, the Avada. <laughs> We got to see their new goggle, the DJI, DJI. Goggles 2. We got to play with the motion controller. Super fun. And we use the standard controller. Guys, just like we end every episode of Rotor Rat, is this a rip it or is it a skip it? <laughs> Bobby, what do you think? <laughs> it's definitely a rip it. Ah! <laughs> I gotta agree with you, Bobby. <laughs> okay, so like, serious, it's so hard because like, you know, with like other stuff we reviewed in the past, like I, I genuinely liked it, mm -hmm. but everyone was like, oh, you're being paid. Not this. It's so much fun. Yeah, never this, believe you. They will never. never believe me. But the amount of fun I had with this, I've had. I haven't had that much fun flying in so long. You saw me screaming the first time. It's fun. Yeah. It's I don't fun. know. You know. For, so for an experienced drone pilot to have that much fun, like that's cool. Yeah. How long would this stay fun for you? I don't know. You've only got to play with it like you know two or three flights. So. Yeah. I mean, I think like 
I would push myself harder with this thing. Like I would find what? small gaps and just like mm -hmm. you right through it because it's just like, it's just like, it really gets you like that fighter pilot feel that like, I just, I mean, I don't really get with FPV. So but I don't fun. think you're saying that it's a replacement for this. Yeah, you to be clear, this, this is better for like actual flying and like getting cinema shots that you'd want to do with this. This is just, for me, it's really fun. It's a cool toy. This thing will always have a special place in my heart though, even After though- After two flights, he's like, I will never forget you, Mochi Controller, <laughs> and the wonderful time we had together in Orlando. Never. My first thoughts on this drone were that it had a lot of potential, that it was gonna be great for getting new pilots flying, that it would have a lot of room to grow with them, yeah. and where this exceeds my expectations is just how far you can grow with it, yeah. and that, it goes even further into the realm of professional Cinewhoop type flying yeah. than I thought it would. Like you could actually use this, I think, especially if you get gyro flow and things like that working. This is gonna be a serious option for people doing Cinewhoop type flying. And also we gotta take a look at the DJI Goggle 2s. And I'm really, these are really sweet. They're really light on the face, they're small. Antenna's built in, so when I'm putting it in the bag, you don't have to worry about breaking stuff. Yeah, yeah. it is a very nice goggle set. And I'm looking forward to seeing more about this if there are ever anything else you can use with it besides the Avada. Statement time. <laughs> what is my statement again? At this time, DJI is evaluating cus customer reaction. So react. 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 What do you think? You react. guys want to use these with other stuff, right? React. Leave a comment down below. Yeah. <laughs> Leave 10 comments down below. I was even impressed with the durability of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was crazy. There's no getting around that it's made out of a plastic and that it's never gonna take as hard of a hit as some of our carbon fiber yeah. drugs. But I think what we saw was that with the type of crashing that you're realistically gonna do with this, like we were doing in the mini golf course where you're you know, bouncing off stuff at a moderate speed, yeah. had totally no problem. Yeah. And when we did put it in a full freestyle mode and send it and had some really rough crashes, we haven't broken it yet. We haven't broken it yet, which is really impressive, like you said earlier. So this thing is going to be more durable than for the normal crashes. You're but I do think that with those rough freestyle crashes, it would eventually break. Oh, and of I course, do yeah. not recommend flying it at that level of acro unless you're prepared to destroy it. It is but, not a freestyle drone. Right, but for Cine Whooping, I think it's gonna take anything you throw at it. It is available at rotoriot.com. Link in the description. Yeah, and if this isn't your flavor, you can get one of our drones too. If you want some pro grade carbon fiber goodness, we got you hooked up. Whatever you need, check it out. We wanna get more people flying. This is the greatest hobby ever, and it's awesome to see more and more cool stuff coming out, making it easier to get into and more fun. Yeah, definitely. So guys, I'm Ladrib. I'm Bubby FPV. And we'll see you next time on Rotoriot. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that nuzzle. <gasps> you guys are like big dogs. <laughs> big dogs wagging your tail. Yeah, yes you are. You're a big dog.